I'm not going to contradict anything that JJ just said. I'm not going to contradict anything that Bev just said, although I'm looking for my scorecard of everybody who Bev's got bad blood with. It's hard to keep track of it. <laughs> um, what I can't figure out is, and look, and even if Luca comes in here, this is a potentially all-time great player, if he comes in here and scores 50 points and pulls out a win, and by the way, he might have scored 50. He had 35 in 30 minutes. That's one thing. The Phoenix Suns, I spent a lot of time with them this year. I was there when the Robert Sarver stuff came out. I was there at midseason when they had big games. I covered their series with the Pelicans, the entire series. They are one of the most focused teams, one of the most clutch teams that I've ever seen. The stats back it up. Chris Paul, no matter what you want to say about him, goes 14 of 14 shooting on the road in New Orleans in game six. The, 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 they laid that egg that they had that dud, that it didn't just come down to a great player beating a good team in a single game situation. I can't explain that. I can't explain strategy differences. JJ, you are right. The, 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 the Suns were shooting ridiculously high on long two pointers in the first um, you know, seven or eight games of the postseason, and they were bound to regress to the mean. I still cannot explain how they get blown out on their home court in this situation. That one I'm going to have to do some investigation on. I don't have an answer for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, go, wait, Pat, Pat, go. <laughs> hey, now, you can't follow this team the whole year and, 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 and say how great of a team, how focused they are, and then get on here and get on here in front of all these people that's watching right now and tell me that you don't have anything to say now. I mean... I'm, you, you just can't do that. So what is it we should be saying? Tell me what we should be saying. Did they, they look tight last night? Did they choke? I, I'm trying to make sure I, I understand. I don't what think you're it leading. was a tightness. I don't think it was a choke. They played a really good team. Yeah. And a really good player, and lost. Simple as that. Right. But all through the season, I mean, they had the best record in by the 50, NBA. By right? 50, They and lost by 50. And that's and that's the thing when you, when when you guys are up here discussing basketball. Preseason is a monster. Regular season is a monster. Playoff is another monster. Elimination games. Are a whole nother monster. You got so you can't take what you see regular season and apply. Of course, no one has the time to scout for it back to back against Phoenix. They run their offense. The referees know what's going on. Chris Paul go getting the bonus all the time. They go call little petty fouls during the season. But in the playoffs, now you got to really lace them up. You have to guard. You have to go over. You have to, you have to make plays. No one in the Phoenix Suns got in the paint. Who na name me one player who got in the paint and just kicked out? No one. They can't. They they can't get past their players. Booker's getting in there to get his own money. So. I mean, come on, B, you got to give me something better than that, babe. You can't give me something better than I just, I don't know. Bev, Go ahead, Brian. Bev, Bev, he goes 14 of 14 in a closeout elimination game like two Against weeks who? ago. A, a play-in team. This, 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 they were, right. Bev, they exactly. were not, that was a, that's a good team. That's a who? good team. Look, New Orleans. again, and They're if you want to say that that's why they lose the series, I'm going to agree with you. But to score 27 points on your home court in a game seven for a team that won 64 games, Bev, I've never seen it. I've never seen it, man. And I, I got to say, before, though. like, you just see that they had, they had trouble scoring the game before. They, they really did. But can I ask you about another thing here? I'm just going to stay with this for a minute here, guys, and we'll get to Boston whenever we get to Boston. But I, I think this is interesting to me. One thing we haven't even mentioned yet is that DeAndre Ayton got benched in this game. And after the game was over, uh, they asked Monty Williams about it. He said it was internal. That's quite another event to take place. And, and Wendy, we don't quite have the information at this point as to exactly what it is that transpired. But he plays 17 minutes minutes last night and played very badly, but he certainly wasn't alone on that front uh, with Phoenix. But to bench one of your most important players, J.J., in Game 7 of a playoff series, something must have happened. And again, to this point, we don't know exactly what it was. Well, we don't know, but I, I think that's emblematic of the effort that the Suns had yesterday. Oh. There was just no sense of urgency. I, to do that in a Game 7 at home is befuddling. And, and Pat, you know, you've played against Luka twice now in elimination games. Yeah. I, I, I got to imagine you were not shocked at all to see him come out and play the way he did. No. Like, I don't think we should be as shocked that the Mavs won. We should be shocked, and I was as well watching last night, shocked by the Suns' effort 
and, and whatever was going on with yeah. that team internally. Right. That's, I think, the point we're trying to make here, Pat Bev, is that no one is, if, if Luca, that's what Wendy just said, if Luca had scored 60 last night and they win by six, we would have all said, unbelievable player. The Suns didn't show up. They, mm. they didn't play. They scored 27 points in the first half on their home floor yeah. in a game seven for a team that, however good or bad we think they were, they did win 64 games this year. It is something that I think has stunned a lot of people. How do you explain it? First off, uh, I mean, a lot of I'm going to get a lot for this, but, you know, I don't really care. They benched the wrong person. Should have benched Chris. And I'm not saying bench him now. Once you see they starting attacking Chris early, and you know that might become a problem later on, you need to see how my team works without Chris in the game a little mm -hmm. bit. I got benched. We won, we won though. Right. So right. You, don't even, you don't even remember that. Right. Okay. Right. You know I'm saying what I'm saying? So, as a coach, you have to understand that. Man, I have to understand they're attacking my main guy. Um, I can't get buckets from him. I have to make an adjustment, whatever that adjustment is. And that's no, no fault against Monty. He's a great coach, coach of the year. But T. Lou, if T. Lou's there, he's making that decision. It's a hard decision, but he's making it. He's benching Chris Paul in game seven. Not benching him, but I, I, spurts here, spurts here. We got to see something else. I mean, apparently it didn't work. A acknowledging that it has become a problem, and despite his stature, I'm just making sure I'm understanding, despite his stature in the game. Coach the game, not the player. Coach the game, not the player. What do you think of that, JJ? I, I think there's some validity to that, and I'll say because of the way they were playing Devin Booker, basically blitzing everything, whether that was the backside action yeah. on the dribble handoff, whether that was the step up pick and rolls, they always had two on the ball with him. If CP is unwilling to shoot, unwilling to be aggressive, yeah. I agree with that. Here's a lost opportunity to me. James Johnson for the last two trade deadlines has preached continuity. I think they had an opportunity this year to go out and get a third shot mm -hmm. creator. Eric Gordon was available in Houston. I know the Phoenix Suns fans wanted Eric Gordon to be there. That, to me, changes the complexity of this team Agreed. because you do need someone who's able to attack. Someone, I'm not saying they could have got Jordan Clarkson, but someone like that. And Eric Gordon is one of those guys. You Agreed. needed that third shot creator. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.